Today's a big day, guys. I am uh, pretty much got everything done in the garden, and today I'm gonna put up my fencing to go around the garden area so I can secure it. And um, you know, if you didn't see my last video, this happened. I wish I had it on camera, but I don't. I was pounding a T-post. Now this piece here is the weight that gives that gives it the strength to pound the T-post in. And this is welded inside of here. So what happened was as I was pounding, there's resistance when it hits that weight and drives it in. Pound, the weld breaks, my hands go down, my body goes forward, and my chin goes right into that thing. Who would have ever thought? Be careful with your T-post pounders. I got one that I'm using from my dad. He uh, made it, so I don't have any worries moving forward with the T-post pounder that I'm gonna use from here on out. So this is all old cattle panel that we had lying around. And I used to set it up in the, in the property and put the goats in there so that they could uh, clean up the areas that I had fenced off. But we went out and I got 14 new cattle panel. And that is gonna go around the whole garden, the new stuff. So my plans going into it versus how it comes out always turns out a little differently, but here's how I'm going into it. My cattle panel is 50 inches tall and I have six and a half foot T-posts. Um, by the time that I get it pounded into the ground, I'm gonna have a little bit left hanging up above. And the reason that I chose to go with this length is because once this garden project is done, the next big project is I'm going to fence off this back area for uh, pasture for the horses and the goats. We're gonna throw them all in there together. The horses already got a pasture out in the front half of the property, but we want to get them in the back part of the property because we have like a, a barn a shed type of structure that we're not utilizing. And if we can get everybody in the back half of the property, we can use that as a barn and have a central location for feed and for, and for animals as well. So the next big project when I get this done is we're gonna jump right over to that. Hopefully I'm home long enough to get that done. So I wanna leave the T-post hanging up above it because that'll give me room to run a strip of poly tape and poly rope so I can electrify this fence. Because literally the horses, their fence line, you know, is probably gonna be a little closer to that tree. There's gonna be a good buffer zone, but we're that's gonna be electrified and then I can just run a wire from there to here and have everything electrified. So if any reason the horses and goats get out and they decide to challenge the fence over here, they're gonna get zapped. And you know, um, anything else that comes, comes along its way. If deer get on the property or anything like that, I, I got some kind of system set up to give me what, it, what defense I can. That is pretty straight. You cannot argue that. I am super happy with that. So I got a nice straight line running down there. As far as the height goes, I'm kind of just going with the lay of the land. I put each T-post in um, just far enough so that this part right here is just covered by the dirt. Totally stoked about this guys I could not be happier now right here this cattle panel on the end it's overlapped quite a bit 
but that's because at some point I'm gonna open this up and I can just scoot the cattle panel down. So that was a good reason why I wanted to use the cattle panel. It's just, it, not only is it easy to move and set up, but it's easy to take down. Um, I can move it and adjust it. Whatever the future brings, I'll, I'll be very versatile with it. Um, not only can I use it for the fencing, but I can use it like I did in the trellises. And um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with tomatoes. I don't have any tomato cages, so I, I might put up a vertical trellis. The jury's still out on that one, but I've got a couple extra panels, a couple extra cattle panels to use, so we'll, we'll see about that one. But anyway, guys, I am um, real happy about all this. Stick with me till the end here in a minute, and I'll send the drone up, get an aerial shot. But thanks for checking in with me, guys. I appreciate you all. See you soon. Yeah.